Hello, everybody. We are here to start a project on a 911 um, 1999 Carrera 4 as a tribute to the PCA Classic Club Coupe that was sold to Jerry Seinfeld for a whopping $1.3 million, which is definitely outside of my pay grade. So that's why we're doing a tribute. And uh, the genesis this, of this was that I've had a 99-911 for several years and I uh, decided that it needed more power. And uh, as a result, we tore the block down um, and did a lot of work on it uh, with LN Engineering to turn it from a 3.4 liter to a 3.8 liter. And uh, that process has been kind of where we are with this project at the, at the current time. We're about to start assembling the engine. So part of this will turn into a project for developing components uh, for the 911, uh, particularly the 996 generation. And uh, we have started a company to go down that road. So Jeff, come on over. And uh, this is Jeff, a uh, partner in the business. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's nice to meet you all. Yeah, we're really excited. So this is going to be a this is going to be a really so. interesting project because we're going to do some things that have not been done for the 911, uh, particularly not this uh, generation. Uh, we're going to do carbon fiber parts. We're going to do a carbon fiber double bubble roof because the Classic Club Coupe that went back to Porsche, they did that as a tribute to that generation. And if you look at the 997 version of the, the Club Coupe, it has a double bubble roof. Well, we're going to tear the roof off of this. Right, yeah. So <laughs> we're going to really, make one. We're really excited <laughs> about this because this whole thing about Bunami is that we're going we're gonna, to uh, really focus on the performance, yeah. right? Porsches is one of them, but there, many, there will be yeah, I mean, many others other cars, as well. Yeah. So uh, again, to, uh, encourage you all to follow us, you know, because we started from the beginning. Yep. You know, and you're going to be able to kind of watch us through it and see the change of it, right? And, and see the so, experimentation, because when you're prototyping yeah. anything, it's going to be uh, a lot of classic uh, uh, trial and error, trial and error. But we've got some really talented people that are going to help us. Uh, we'll introduce them as we come along. But uh, for now, just know that it's going to be fun to watch and yeah. you're going to enjoy it. And, and they're going to they're going to come along. Right? Absolutely. Kind of Every step of the and, way. And you know what? Hey, we're, we're kind of new at this, right? <laughs> we love we love the sports and we love performance. But, you know, we hope that you guys are going to follow us. I'm sure there's a lot of smart people out there. Yeah, and, and we, you know, <laughs> we, we love to hear you guys and get recommendations. And we expect to get corrected. Let's yeah. put it that way. Uh, so so there, follow there will us. Be things. Follow yeah, us. Follow us. Enjoy the ride. And, uh, and we look forward to uh, showing you what you're doing. Awesome. So we broke down the block, took the engine out, broke it down, sent it off to LN Engineering. And uh, we have it sleeved out now from a 3.4 to a 3.8. And we have performance pistons, performance rods going in, all of that. And uh, it should be, give us about an extra 90 horsepower. Uh, natural aspirated, so we'll be running close to 400 horse in the car by the time it's all done. And uh, this is the beginning of that project. And uh, again, the reason I, I kind of wanted to do the film on this was because it seems like nobody else is, is taking the time to detail out an M96 rebuild. Now there's classes you can take. I've taken the course, the DVD course on the engine. So I've always you know, wanted to work on it. And I have torn the top end of this off before uh, to do a rebuild on that, new valves and, uh, and all. But now it's, it's time to just play this game for real, build this up to a full performance engine and, uh, and hopefully have a great time with it. The goal is to end up at Unstock with the fully done car next November, so a year from now see if we make that goal, but that's, uh, that's the idea. So what we got, what we'll initially do is we've got the carrier group here for the, for the crankcase, and we're going to assemble that. These are all the old bearings that came out of it, and I always keep everything as I'm rebuilding so that I can know what I need to do. Yeah, this, this is a, uh, an actual failure point on the M96 engine, and it's not the common one. Everyone thinks about the IMS or the bore scoring. Uh, in fact, this is one of the other failure points in that engine, and it's this displacement shim that sits here. You have two of them, and what they do is make it so when the crankcase is in place, it's the, uh, the play, the forward play motion of that is restrained by these. Well, these are a friction surface against this part of the crank, and as a result, in this one, you can actually see some wear on this, and it's because it's not getting enough oil. So the new ones have three of those oil channels. Uh, but it's nice, you know, to pull it out and get validated that, you know, I could actually see this was starting to get some wear on it. And uh, 
I'm happy I'm rebuilding the engine now because that could have been a different issue later. The engine has uh, 98,000 miles on it. And so that's why it was a decent time to look at a rebuild anyway. And, uh, you know, cause it would have needed some kind of refresh. So now we're going into it, but we'll, uh, we'll put new bearings in, uh, obviously new shims, uh, displacement shims, put the crank in, torque that down. Uh, we've got new rods, new bearings. Uh, then we'll put the IMS in. I had the IMS pinned at LN Engineering, so they actually took the sprockets and pinned them to the shaft because out of the stock from the factory, they're just, they're, they're press fit and they can shift. And that's another, you know, quote, IMS failure, but it really isn't the IMS that would have failed in that case. It would that sprocket shifting a little bit. So those are now pinned. And then I've got the uh, lifetime uh, LN Engineering uh, bearing put in as well. So. That's kind of what we're planning on. Um, my hope is, is that as we go through this, uh, that it makes sense that people can learn from this about how to do an M96. It's not that daunting a project. And you know, it's significant, obviously, we've got a lot going on, but uh, it's something that, that you can do. And uh, you can take confidence in that the guys at LN, they're great, They'll, you can get on the phone with them and talk through things. Uh, they do a great job on these sleeves. They've got a great reputation. And so that's, uh, that's our goal. So I look forward to taking the journey with you guys and we'll, we'll have a lot of different people joining us. Um, you know, Jeff Boomy, who's a good friend of mine, he has his own channel and he'll be joining us and we'll talk about kind of the corollaries of the projects that we're doing and uh, uh, several other folks. I have a whole Lemons team that uh, is interested in this and then a bunch of guys in the Porsche Club. So should be a fun time.